My next guest is a new young comedian who is making his second appearance on our show. In November, he will be one of the in one of the new NBC special called Just for Laps. Laughs. <laughs> Just for Laps. Well, they'll make one of those too. Would you welcome Skip Stevenson? Thank you. How many people are from out of town? Are you? Well, if you, uh, if you get a chance to, and you're down in Hollywood, you'll see on the corners. In fact, this is all over the country now in the major cities. They have these uh, newspaper racks full of pornographic... Well, what they are, they're just dirty, dirty newspapers, right? Have you seen these on the stands? And they've all got the same headlines in the front. They've got these big black headlines that says, Hundreds of personal ads in the back. <laughs> Hundreds of personal ads with photos in the back. See, if you've got a post office box, you can advertise in the back of these swingers' magazines for any kind of a weird affair you'd ever want to get involved in, you know? I was reading one of those papers the other day. I found it on my lawn. And, uh, <laughs> must have fell out of a police car. But I was, uh, I read a great ad in the back of one of those magazines. It just blew me out. It said, I will do anything with anybody at any time. Please, no freaks. <laughs> Freaks is a Hollywood expression. A lot of people go around saying, I'm freaking out, man. This is a freak out. <laughs> the other big expression out here is blow my mind. You go to a party, what's happening? It's blowing my mind, Jim. Everything is blowing my mind. How in the world do you blow somebody's mind? You can do it. You want to blow somebody's mind? Invite people over for dinner and then don't serve anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just give them a couple of glasses of Ripple and say, we're going to the movies. We'll call you tomorrow. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Blow somebody's mind. Call up information and give them somebody's phone number. <laughs> you got Leo Johnson's phone number at 4413 Elm Street in Burbank? No? Well, it's 3279. <laughs> Would you write that in your book? I haven't been getting any calls over here. <laughs> You ever do weird things like that? Drive through a jack-in-the-box and order a Big Mac. <laughs> Get on an elevator with somebody you've never seen before in your life and lean over under his chin and go... <laughs> Stop a cop on the freeway and tell him you've been speeding. <laughs> <laughs> I had this up to 120. I was all over the road. Where were you? You want to really blow somebody's mind? Call up the Internal Revenue Service and request an audit. <laughs> Here's one for you. If you ever go on a date with somebody you don't want to go out with again, just say to them, would you like some gum? If they say yes, go under the table and say, well, let's see, there's, uh, <laughs> there's some bubble gum that we just put here. If you're at a discotheque or a singles bar and it gets too boring for you, run up to somebody and say, would you like to dance? If they say yes, say, well, go ahead. <laughs> Here's one just for the guys, just for the guys here. Get on an elevator in a department store completely nude, see? And just say, men's clothing? <laughs> get up to men's clothing, say, socks. <laughs> then get back on the elevator wearing nothing but a pair of socks and say, luggage. <laughs> the latest two popular expressions, of course, are hot and bad, right? Things that used to be cool are now hot. People used to say, hey, man, that's a cool outfit. Now they say, that's a hot sweater, that's a hot coat. Eh? Things that used to be good are now bad. If the music was good, people come out of rock concerts saying, those were some bad sounds, man. Bad sounds. <laughs> Expressions always go to extremes, right? First it was good, then it was bad, then it was cool, then it was hot. When I was in high school, we used to say, hey, what's going on? Then it was, what's coming off? <laughs> then they said, what's coming up? Now it's, what's going down? <laughs> See, I'm still trying to figure out, what is it? <laughs> and did I step in it? <laughs> I think we're all standing in it, don't you? <laughs> That's incredible, man, I tell you. But uh, I, I live over here in Burbank. Anybody out here that hasn't been stopped by the Highway Patrol, if you've lived out here more than three weeks and haven't been pulled over by the Highway Patrol, you have to call in, man. It's, <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you ever been stopped so many times in your life as you do out here? Nobody's got the same colors of red and blue like the Highway Patrol got in those lights, man. When those come on behind your car at midnight, that'll straighten you out of anything you've ever been on, just like that, right? <laughs> huh? Your eyes clear up, you're a quiz kid. You swallow things you normally wouldn't. <laughs> You just go crazy, don't you? 
got a terrible rhythm to it when it comes on because those lights are on rollers, and when they come on behind your car at night, it'll just scare you to death, right? It's just like a bunch of little red arms and blue hands inside of your car with you. We got you, we've got you, we've got you, we've got you. You'll never get away from us. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> now it's even worse. Now they've got loudspeakers in the highway patrol cars. Isn't that frightening? Have you heard these guys out there on the freeways at night? Pull as far as you can to the right shoulder, activate your emergency brake, turn on your interior light, take all of your clothes off, and stand on your head in the back seat. <laughs> And you do it like a fool, and the first guy comes with a big flashlight and tells his partner, hey, man, he's in there. He did it. Look, he's got no clothes on. <laughs> I live over here in Burbank, which is where the studios are and everything. We have, our own, we have our own police department in Burbank. Did you know that? We're right in the middle of Los Angeles, but we have our own police department. They're based out of the Winchell's Donut Stand there at Magnolia and Hollywood <laughs> Way. <laughs> There's two of them now, so they pretty well have the town covered. We don't have a police helicopter in Burbank yet. We got a guy in a hang glider with a flashlight going through the back air. <laughs> California's pretty laid back, though. They're even making cars out here now with glass bottoms, so if you run over somebody, you can just back up and see if you know them, you know? <laughs> hey, I'd like to close by reminding you that I was here. Thank you.